Hi, I'm Helga. And I'm Mitch. Welcome to Home Plate Home Style. And what are we cooking today? Look at what I have. Guess what? Goulash? Goulash, yes. We're doing a little German goulash today. And what we're going to do first is uh, salt and pepper it. In the meantime, you can go dice my onions. How's that? What kind of meat are you using? Okay, this is actually, you use chuck, okay? Okay. But this is a, it's a nice cut of meat. So um, let's just That's wash nice. my oh, hands, yeah. okay? Always wash your hands. A little <laughs> <before>. black pepper. <laughs> black pepper. And you just want it diced up like this? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then right. we're using uh, salt. And don't be too stingy with it. You have a lot of meat there. And of course, I'm just going to kind of go like this. And in the pot, we're going to have, I, I like Crisco, but you can go use any, any shortening you like. Whoops, see there. Any shortening you like, I'm at the end of the pot, but that's all I need. I don't know, Crisco is just such a nice vegetable uh, shortening, so. And we're just going to dump that meat in there. Have your pan nice and hot, that you're going to get it nice and brown right away. And then we're going to add the onions after a while. We got about a pound and a half to two pounds of uh, meat. Put a little bit more pepper on there. A little stingy with the pepper over here. Okay. Here we go. And of course you're going to let this all brown real nice. But it's okay, you can go and add to your onions already also, if you want to throw them in. And always, that's how my mom does it. Two pounds of beef, two pounds of onions. Always do the same. Oh, equal amounts. Equal amount of onions, yes. Because that makes a real nice flavor. You want those onions and they're healthy for you. And this is a very traditional dish, isn't it? It sure is, yeah. So, Mitch, look at this now, okay? That's coming along Doesn't well. that come nice? Yeah, I mean, I would like to have it a little browner, but, you, you know, we're going to have to hurry it along. And you want to go and put the... Uh, the sprinkle all over? Yeah, this is paprika. It's about uh, a teaspoon. All right. And you know what? This really gives it a nice color also. And then we're going to de deglaze our... So you'll need yeah, your wine. About a quarter cup or to a half a cup, something like you that. You want me to do it by eye, or do you no, want No, you can just... But you can just okay. eyeball right. it. You ready? Not. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> that smells delicious. Okay, that's, that's good. That's about good. That's wonderful. I get heavy-handed with the wine Do you? Sometimes. Do yeah. you? Now, see, I have oh, my, my goulash oh, shirt yeah, on. Oh, yeah, goulash shirt on. That's smart. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, I'm a little messy. See, cook. that's coming in nice. That's Doesn't a nice see? color. Look, look how nice, yeah. See, now you get that nice brown. On the red and, and the we're going to take a half a bouillon. This just is the a whole thing beef in there bouillon like cube, yeah. Okay. It's actually from a, it's actually like like a small two small ones, okay? This is a, I only had that large one at home. So it's two of the small cubes put yeah, together. Yeah, two small cubes together. And we add two cups of water. All righty. Yeah. Okay, because that's going to cook down and you want to have a little gravy because you're going to serve it over potatoes or schmetzels. So here we go. And now we're going to put the lid on and it's ready to go for an hour. And then we should have a nice goulash. I'm thickening up nicely. Yeah, it's going to thicken up with a little bit of flour. That looks okay, nice. After a while. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. Yes. That's okay, Mitch, we cooked this now for a whole hour. Okay, now look at this. Oh, Doesn't that smell, smell delicious? It smells wonderful. Mm -hmm. And now what we're going to do is you're going to go make a little, um, like a, it's actually a little like bit? a roux, but it's, you know, it's, it's like a paste out of flour, a little more flour. Okay, now make it nice. We don't need no lumps, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no lumps, huh? <laughs> okay, that should be okay. Put a little bit more water in there. Yeah, I think so. And then we're gonna go put it right in here. To, you know, you wanna have this to stick to your potatoes or to your spetzels. So you gotta go right in here. Okay, just not, 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 not. Yeah. Yes, All right. yes. Okay, we don't wanna have it that thick. Okay. And See how, how thick it gets? Oh, yeah. We're going to use a little bit more water. Yeah. See, I was going to grab the see, wine bottle. Uh-huh, because, you know, <laughs> my kids always 
They, didn't, they don't eat the meat, they eat the gravy. They love oh, yeah. the gravy. Oh, and they then, have all the and flavor. Of, and of course, you want to go try it. We have, we have a little spoon there. Do we have the, a our spoon? gravy. We should have a spoon here someplace. And um, there we go. There and we see go. if it needs a little bit of my favorite seasoning. Just a little bit. Oh, it's already tasting mm. wonderful. Is that good? Mm-hmm. Okay. And that should be it, and we're going to be serving that. You should taste it too, though. It might need a little salt. Salt? Yeah, I, that's, that's we can... what I always, you know, kind of on the end, you kind of... Okay, we don't want to over-salt it. Wonderful. Mm. It oh, Helga, so you did so good. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did. I'm You're sorry. telling the truth. <laughs> That is delicious. Okay, okay, Mitch. Now we have it all done. Looks now, great. Now doesn't it look nice? And I made my homemade special. That is nice. Okay, and uh, you can find this recipe one of these days. Can we hold this? Yes, you're gonna hold this. And I made whole monthly. We're gonna do this. So, a little bit of gravy and a little bit of meat. Yeah, so we'll be sharing the spetzel recipe in the future. You know future. what, this is, we, we eat off of one plate oh, because that's... we are one family, don't we? <laughs> you can smell the wine. I know. What that's, kind of wine did you use? Merlot. Merlot? <laughs> so, so, you, you want to taste it? Okay, you see how the meat is. I love my spetzels. Mm, I can't mm. resist with spetzel mm. either. Mm. The meat's nice and tender. Isn't oh, the flavor is amazing. Good? I know. This, you go, go for the chuck, okay, when you're going to go for meat. Mm. Yeah, it's very, really, very really nice. And you how did, see did how the you paprika taste brings the color? Did you taste the spetzel? Oh, yeah, that hint of nutmeg in there. You put nutmeg. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very good. Very nice. So, oh, yeah, this is. I think we're going to finish up that we can go finish the plate. Mm. <laughs> this is Helga. And I'm, I'm Mitch, always with my mouth full. <laughs> Sorry. That, that is all for today. This is Goodbye. excellent. Goodbye.